Welcome back, and I did keep my word. Welcome back to I Hate Wednesdays, and yes, I kept my word. I am bringing you at 9.30 at night, bad things about New Jersey. Why I Hate New Jersey, part two, right now. It's going to be fun talking about the weirdest state of all, New Jersey. Now, before we begin, I'd like to talk about the Kentucky Derby. I posted a vlog, vlog 192, about the Kentucky Derby, and then it got demolished by NBC, as you can see up there. And, of course, it got deleted, so there are two vlog 193s right now on this day, May 9th, 2018. I'll be changing that. This will be vlog 194, I Hate Wednesdays, volume 18, I think. Why I Hate New Jersey, part two. Now, let's begin. Today's source article is the 12 worst things about living in New Jersey. You notice I'm using a lot of pop-ups today. I will be showing you the specific articles that I'm talking about. Number one, will I kill you to say please? Chivalry and etiquette are foreign concepts to many New Jerseyans, and it's fair to assume that on any given day you'll encounter an impatient, impolite, disrespectful, or downright nasty human being who shares your lovely garden state. Not every resident is a hollering, boorish brute, but takes a road trip to the American South and you'll realize that stereotypes about Northeasterns begin rude and pretty much true. Stupid dry or stupid light made me mess up, how dare you. And you can see Stephanie Tanner. How rude. Our traffic mimics Mad Max. Infuriating, traffic makes sense for our most densely populated state, but does everyone have to be such an impatient, over-aggressive maniac? No, I would start with the maddening ARA of jug handles and traffic circles. Here's the thing. Jug handles. Have you ever heard of it? No left. Right? That's how you do it. You... Take the exit, you loop around, go for two traffic lights, and or maybe three if you want to, and you just made a left turn. So, yeah, that's how you do it. New Jersey Transit's cruel tricks. To plan your day with the notion that New Jersey Transit's train or bus will arrive on schedule is to also account for bouts of rage as your pivot becomes delayed and then canceled altogether. How could it get worse? Oh yeah, how about a crumbling infrastructure? I want to agree with that because I hate New Jersey Transit, like, they, they're the worst. Number four, our eternal civil war. Want to start a meaningless argument at your next dinner party? Ask the table, where's the line between North and South Jersey? And then sit back as everyone spouts a meaningless opinion. Here's the thing, there is no definitive state slicing barriers now, and there will never be. Let it go. Plus, if we don't unite, how will we ever conquer Delaware? Five, and another thing, ah, food battles. The pork roll versus Taylor ham discussion is worthy of its own slaughter. The stupid box says Taylor pork roll people. Both sides are correct. Just let us enjoy our nitrate soaked meat circles in peace. The same goes for subs, hoagies, Italian ice, water ice, and sprinkles and jimmies. A state divided by its snacks is a state on the brink of collapse. So if you're from Camden and you want a cheese steak, you're just going to have to go over to Philadelphia because they have the best cheese steaks. Oh, here's an interesting one. The soul-crushing property taxes. <laughs> this gripe is based purely on fact. New Jersey boasts the highest property taxes in America, by far. In the state, average is now above $8,000 per household. Alabama and its median property tax rate of 398 sounds awesome right about now. New Jersey is, like, expensive in every single thing. As you can see from the picture, I love tax. He probably works for the IRS. Number seven. I was hearing about this the other day. It's called the Pulaski Skyway, so I figure I'd just read about it. Between the merciless potholes, narrow lanes, and hairpin exits, the dreary Pulaski feels more like a key in a Batman villain's plot for Gotham-wide destruction that a structure that still exists in the 21st century. I never saw the Pulaski Skyway, and I'm probably going to look it up too, but I imagine it is very, very horrible. The Wretch Turnpike Smell at number 8. Anyone who regularly passes by Exit 13 on the Turnpike, I have four times, and the nearby Linden Con Congregation Plant, 
I have four times two. I already shared this grievance. The intense sulfur stench is especially putrid in warmer weather coming soon. Though New Jersey is often unfairly mocked for its smells, it's hard to defend this one. New Jersey, this is by far, this is, I actually read about this last week. New Jersey has the most industrial plants and is the most polluted state in the United States. So they're your facts. Number nine, Jersey Shore headaches. A day trip to our beloved surf and sand should surely be a serene occasion. But between Memorial Day and Labor Day, the traffic bottlenecking into the area is inescapable. To park, one must choose to shell out for an overpriced lot or circle endlessly. Once on the beach, you'll endure every other frustrated family in its loudest, most obnoxious state. There's just too many of us. We should try an odd even system, a la the 73 oil crisis. And my light just flickered. Number 10, the New Jersey meatheads. Are New Jersey's drink slugging muscular buffoons different from the rest of the world? Yes, it goes back to the rudeness aspect. Much of our population already has the tendency to morph into an inconsiderate jerk at any moment. Add in the misguided sense of entitlement that comes with not being able to touch your own shoulders, and you have the bombastic Jersey meathead, whose sole purpose is to ruin your night at the bar, club, or concert. I just got through that. A lousy con customer service, number 11. Why are New Jersey service retail employees all stationed behind a wall of indifference? In supermarkets and convenience stores, anywhere you encounter a cashier, there's a good chance you'll be told to have a nice day. Though it's blatantly obvious, they couldn't care less. And why do New Jersey restaurants get so bent out of the shape of separate checks? It almost always leads up to a better overall tip. Number 12, it's us against the world. What other state residents need to constantly protect themselves from punchlines and mockery as soon as they cross into foreign lands? If you're in California and you say, I'm from New Jersey, you don't immediately feel like it is a cloud of judgment that rolled in. Sure, we defend our spondy donk our stereotypes, but a lifetime on watch becomes exhausting. And number 13, there wasn't a number 13, but this is at the bottom. Why do we stay? Well, you have tried the pizza here, but seriously, beneath all this quibbing, New Jersey is a special, special place where many folks are willing to live. Our traffic and crowds are proof of that, and despite its flaws, we love this crazy land. Oh, and did we mention the pizza? Yeah, you did! So let's hear it. What's your worst thing about living in New Jersey? What I think the worst thing about New Jersey is, like, the jug handles. Like, you have to, like, not turn left, but you have to go, ooh, ooh, and you might get in an accident five times better than, than just taking the left. There might be a part three soon, but we'll see later. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching I Hate Wednesdays. Wasn't bad, but it was a headache. Trying to read all of that. Oh my gosh. But I had fun anyways talking to you guys. And always, I will see you tomorrow. And about my Mount Monadnock, if you saw the Comedy Sunday Return video, you might have saw the little message that I'll be climbing Mount Monadnock on Saturday. That is now under question because we're supposed to get rain and some thunderstorms so we're still seeing that if i cannot climb it i'm sorry that i'm making you bored but it's mother's day i'm probably gonna watch the movie mother's day mom happy mother's day have a nice day everybody Bye.